Hi, my name is Allie from School for One, and I'm here today to show you how to use Apple Classroom 2 on devices with iOS 10.3 and above. This is a way for you to manage your classroom iPads without using an MDM. First, I'm going to open up Apple Classroom, and I'm going to enter my teacher information. I'm going to go ahead and create a new class. And I can also change the color. Now I have a new Apple Classroom class and only the teacher needs to download Apple Classroom to their iPad. I'm going to go ahead and open up this class and right now I don't have any students. I'm going to go ahead and select add students and this is where the student is going to open up the settings on their iPad and Apple Classroom will appear. The student will then enter the code 4697 and they will add the class. So now I have the student Felipe added to my class. As the teacher, I'm going to go ahead and select add. So right now what I'm seeing is my student Felipe is in the settings of his iPad. At the, up at the top, I'm going to go ahead and select open and this is meaning that I want all of my students to be open to the same app. As the teacher, the students must also have the application downloaded on their iPads. At the bottom, there's also a toggle that allows you to lock students in the app after opening. I'm going to go ahead and select School for One. Now, on the student iPad, you will see a pop-up that is asking permission to lock your iPad. Students should select Always Allow. Once the students complete that, their, students will, their iPads will be opened to School for One. On the teacher view, you also have the option to open up School for One on your iPad. Now I'm going to select an individual student and I'm able to do a variety of actions. I can choose view screen, which is where I will be able to view the student screen. The student will be prompted to allow the view of their screen. Students should, should select always allow. Once they select that, they will be able to see that the teacher is viewing their screen by the blue bar up at the top. If a student enters airplane mode at any point, the teacher will not be able to see the student actions. I'm going to go ahead and select done. I can also unlock an individual student iPad at any time, as well as mute an iPad and airplay a student screen onto my smart board or any monitor. I can also view an individual thumbnail of each screen and I can mute any and all student iPads, as well as lock and unlock iPads. And that is how to use Apple Classroom 2 to manage your classroom devices. Today I'm going to show you how to use Apple Classroom 2. I'm going to put that on the, at the end. We're going to do that. Uh, no. <laughs> if you're praying. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Hold on. On devices. No. On uh, iPad. On iPads. iPads. With <laughs> Apple Classroom 2 on iOS 10.3 and above. Okay. Alright. Go. Hi, my name is Allie, and today I'm going to show you how to use Apple Classroom 2. I forgot School for One. Hmm? I forgot School for One. Allie from school. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Cool.